Arsenal again. So kind of the full circle back to the Brighton Arsenal game, where for Arsenal it's not been a good start. There's another loss, another set of injuries. Is uh, Pepe's Wait, goal to start off with? Beautiful goal. Yeah, great goal from the right hand side. Whips it round. Keepers no chance into the top left hand corner. No stopping that. But then, I mean, you see in that more pies interview, they got complacent. They got cocky. They knew. They thought they'd won the game, and like you said, they've humiliated themselves. Yeah, there's there's no humility from from the players, like you were saying, and um, we go. I think it all stemmed from that collision with the goalkeeper, didn't it? Start off with. I think that is a, either a yellow or a red for me. Really? Yeah. For, for what though? Because you see that all the time. You do, but it's not punished enough in my eyes. The keeper's caught the ball. There's no need for you to carry on that movement into the goalkeeper, and you can see that in the picture. So I'll put the picture up of um, Leno pointing at Morpai, and he's just there's no need for him to carry it on. It's at least a booking, and he didn't he didn't get anything. I don't think it is a book, and I think it is entitled to jump up for that ball. No, but they go on. He didn't you, jump you, up, you did he? He just ran into him. Protecting. You were talking earlier about protecting goalkeepers. There is. There's a difference between protecting the goalkeeper though, and out knowingly running into him, barging into them when they've already caught the ball. No, I think he's entitled to go for the ball. It's just a freak accident that how he falls. Mm. And then they just oh. see um, Sacho Barber, that 19-year-old for Arsenal. I can't. I can never pronounce his name. He's of a G grabs more pie by the neck at the end of the game and throws him to the floor yeah he grabbed him by the neck I think he'll get a, a retrospective action on that yeah mm-hmm. what we're saying a game a few game match ban for that uh, I don't know prob- yeah probably at least probably three game ban to be honest because if know. that's seen in the referee's eyes that's a, it's a red card well it was right in front of the referee so it would be interesting to see it was what after the, the game though was, was it after the game I want to say it, it was, was yeah we could still record him he's still on the field yeah back. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what see, the statement what gets brought out about that, and um, see what happens to. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Arsenal again, even at Brighton away, struggling big time. I mean, Brighton on out of the woods themselves. That's a big three points, thirty-two points that puts Brighton on. And that's Brighton doing doing the double on Arsenal as well. It is. <laughs> yeah. That's the first double they've ever had in their history. Brighton over our Arsenal, um, but yeah, Brighton five points off the pla- uh, off relegation, eight points they, off Arsenal. I think they'll be okay to be honest. Brighton got a good manager, Graham Potter. Um, if they like, like they was arguing for, they didn't want neutral venues. If they can, if they can stay down in the, the Amex, then I think they'll they'll do it. Uh, it's just more and more troubles for Arsenal, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it's. it's I mean that's twice in this con- not this video or podcast that we've covered them and it's for the wrong reasons yeah they they just, just can't seem to find a winning formula can they um, I mean they've been it's been missing for a long time and they've been crying out for something to be better and it's no matter what they do it just seems like it's getting worse and worse I don't think they I don't think they thought they could get much worse than when they had Arsene Wenger in the last few seasons, but it, it's get, it's not great. Yeah, like you can't put much, too much blame on them for the loss at Man City, but to go to Brighton and lose. And go, especially, no matter where you go, if you take the lead, you shouldn't really be losing that game. No. I mean, no matter what team you go against, if you go and take the lead, you should be winning. 